Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your P1000 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Support Representative. This module covers the use of scanner functional tests. Functional tests are a great way to isolate the cause of a problem among a controller, a component, wiring, or other issues. Functional tests let you override the vehicle controller to take control of a system and determine if the vehicle responds properly or not. The functional test selection is used to access OEM model-specific subsystem tests. Available tests vary by manufacturer, year, and model. Only the tests supported by the motorcycle are displayed in the menu. Typical functional tests are information tests, read-only tests, for example, displaying serial or identification numbers, toggle tests, switch a component such as a solenoid or relay or switch between two operating states. Variable control tests command a certain value for a system or component. Reset tests reset adaptive or learned values. Scripted tests, these tests are software routines that place the vehicle into special operating modes for performing certain repairs such as bleeding brakes with ABS. From the main menu, select functional tests. Select actuator tests. Select air cleaner intake valve to start the test. The next screens give us step-by-step -step instructions. Select continue. Select on or off and listen or observe changes in data as the valve is toggled. A test icon on the toolbar activates the test and a return or similarly named icon cancels the test. For variable control tests, the variable value displays between the main body and the toolbar. By using the functional test and selecting on, you are overriding the controller. If you command the relay to turn on and it does not activate, you've just eliminated the controller from the possible causes. This pinpoints the likely problem to the relay or wiring. Plus and minus icons on the toolbar increase or decrease the variable value. Other useful types of functional tests are special functions which may allow you to change or reset parameter values. A good example of a powerful special function is idle speed adjustment. Select Continue. Follow on-screen instructions. Use up or down to adjust the idle speed to your new desired value. Select Y or check mark to set the new idle speed. Let's make a custom data list and double check our work. Select just the parameters you want for your diagnosis. Let's select engine speed and desired idle. This will speed the data refresh rate to help you catch short intermittent glitches. Here's your custom data list. Now you can observe the vehicle data response when you command the RPM higher or lower. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.